party day. Harold, make it two steak knives. Yes, sir. Jeez, you're all so touchy on this way. I'm a family man. Surely you told me that. He said they used to put a beanbag on his head and sit on it. <laughs> See? Quality family time right there. <laughs> Clever things in that sack. What did this guy do with Ben? Rob, take a look at all that stuff there. Check it all out. Anything? No. Well, admittedly, I wasn't great at showcasing my affections for you growing up, but I did listen. These are books you used to love. You had a copy of Grimm's under your pillow for years. And Marge was good to go see Oliver on Broadway for Christmas once. That necklace there reminded me of the shitty one you bought her in return. You know, the one that went missing? The one I accidentally pawned off for a couple of bucks. I had to mow lawns to buy that piece of crap. These are the hands of a labourer. You mowed three lawns? And I had to finish mine the last half of all of them so you could have an asthma break. You don't have <laughs> asthma. I was a confused child. Not a lot to change there. Easy to judge, Ada. Easy to judge. And the chalice, dearest brother? The last crusade, nitwit. No way. Yes way. But I thought that got chucked with all the Return of the Jedi trash. No. Nope. Translate, please. I don't speak jerk face. What are you talking about Indiana Jones? The real chalice was wooden, wasn't it? But I hated that stupid cup. Jesus should have rocked it out in style! <laughs> Besides, it was way cooler than all the Nazis. Disintegrated all... into dust. But why do this? Why now? You passed me on the street. Uh, a couple of months ago, I saw you getting coffee. I called out to you, but you didn't recognize me. You just split me a quarter and kept on walking. It's not your fault. I just, it kind of sucked, big time. So you wanted to fix things? I wanted to make up for all the shitty birthday presents and beanbag suffocations. I may be homeless, but if anything, it's made me a better person. Well, except the, the stealing. <laughs> you didn't have to do this. I know, but I wanted to. No, you really didn't have to do this. Now the police are after you. Oh, <laughs> Someone's eating a crispy! You have the right to shut the hell up, dirtbag! I'm pretty sure that's one of the Miranda rights officer. Ow! Hey, just calm down, alright? It's not resisting. Resisting? Why the hell would I resist? I've been looking forward to a good night's sleep and nothing beats prison mattresses. We may be brothers, but our tastes vary widely. I'm sleeping on pizza boxes, Jack. Done that. Have you done it sober? Man, that's rough. Look, we received an anonymous tip that, uh, <clears throat> some lady in a spandex suit dragging a homeless bum down 98th Street on a leash. <laughs> what about something to do with you, Clark? What can I say? I like to dabble in dark play. <coughs> PG! <coughs> 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 so, this is him? <laughs> uh, yes, this is him. Uh, this is the stuff that he stole. Give or take. I'm going to need that skull, Clark. Evans, you know. That's a good point, actually. Why did you threaten me with a skull? Threaten you? I wasn't threatening you. I was thanking you. You seem to be the only one looking out for Rob. It was a present. But whose skull was it? Check the bottom. William Shakespeare, no way. Yes way. Who'd write their name into their own skull? <laughs> I'm not sure it was something Mr. Shakespeare did personally. Oh. <laughs> Bernie, Bernie, please, can I just keep it? Just let me keep it, please. I'm sorry. Clive, evidence is evidence. Well, I'll steal it from evidence! Good <laughs> luck! <laughs> so, uh, what's on the menu tonight? Uh, Bruce Lee. Oh, Sergeant! <laughs> Sergeant! I found another clue. What? Mace me, will you, amateur? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure you just committed a major crime. The murder was just. Yeah, she's still breathing. Drat. <laughs> I thought I had a body drop. Ah, oh, Mrs. Hatchet, perfect timing. I've just been given the weekend off. You, you have? have? Something about a court summons. Now, would you like to accompany me on a walk? 
I'd like to tell you a little story about a young woman who served me in a cafe and never thought I noticed her. I'm not sure I'm okay with that relationship. <laughs> it feels kind of incestuous. You're both just jealous. My Mrs. Hatch is the fox, I'll give her that. Actually, I have always admired Harold's way with women. The finest role model we ever had. The only role model we ever had. Well, on that note, my chai latte awaits me at last. Hold up, I'll come with you. I have a job interview this afternoon. I need some liquid caffeine courage. Oh, wait a minute. I painted this for you with my drunken spiral. I want you to have it. Asked you what you do, eh? Not me. I'm an actor. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he go? 